Hey there, Louis Yacobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Sherwood Children's Skating Support Tool. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now before we actually get started with the assembly, um, it is good practice. It'll probably help if you just separate out all the pieces. So there are four of these tubes that have these sort of pre-drilled holes in them. You'll want to separate those. You've got these two adjustable brackets and a bag of screws. You've got four T-brackets here and four 90s. And then you've got your four tubes. Again, these ones don't have pre-drilled holes. So. Go ahead, separate them out. It's going to make things a little bit easier. All right, now the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take these adjustable brackets and you're going to slot them in to the tubes that have these drill holes in them. So you want to make sure that you line up this piece here with the hole. And you just want to put those in. Okay. Uh, and again, you're going to do this for the four tubes that you have. So you're going to put one in each end and you want to go ahead and ensure that you line those holes up uh, with the holes in the red tubes. All right. So you can see here that I have secured the adjustable bracket to the two red tubes. Now, a good way to make sure that you've got the tubes threaded properly is to just try to pull it. And if it doesn't come out, uh, then you're good to go. The next step is to take the 90 elbow brackets and you want to attach them to the other ends, the loose ends of the two red tubes that we just screwed in. Uh, and one of these is going to be angled out um, accordingly. Okay, so again, you want to take those two 90 brackets and attach them to the other end of these tubes. All right, now the next thing that you want to do is you want to take two of the slip T brackets and you want to insert them onto one of your loose pieces of pipe here. Uh, and you want to space them about seven inches or 18 centimeters apart. So you can see here that I've gone ahead and I've done that uh, for both of these. And then we're going to be connecting the actual loose ones to these in a second. All right, now after you slipped on the T brackets to the loose pieces of pipe. The next thing you want to do here is actually attach those loose pipes that you just slid the T brackets on into your 90 degree frames here. So you can see I've done that on the top uh, and I've also done it on the bottom here. Uh, and you can see it kind of starts to form the actual structure here of the support. So you want to go ahead and slip those in and then we're going to be attaching these last two tubes to the brackets. All right, so you can see after you've attached the remaining brackets into the T-slips here that you've got the structure assembled. The last piece to fully assemble this is you are going to take some of the remaining screws and you're going to actually screw them into the 90 degree elbows here. So it's a little hard to see, but you'll see right here that there's sort of the initial markings for some drill holes. So again, you just wanna actually take the screws um, and put them in there and that's going to ensure that these don't come out uh, while this is being used. So that's it. This was just a short tutorial showing you how to put together the child's skating support by Sherwood. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.